and we touch base with one of the great show bands of the 60s, Brass & Co, who are still getting people out on that dance floor. And you're very welcome to another edition of the programme. This evening we bring you the last of our three Big Music Week programmes in which we focus on people and their love of music. Now, many of our viewers will remember the, uh, the show band era, the 60s and the 70s, and Waterford here is home to a band which is keeping that big band sound very much alive and well. Brass & Co have for 30 years been bringing the swing to all manner of social occasions and celebrations. And whereas their inspiration was from the show band era, well, they've developed a style very much their own, as Damien Tiernan has been finding out. Brass & Co entertaining almost 12,000 people during the fabulous Tall Ships Festival in Waterford in July. Whether it's playing outdoors for mega events or in intimate venues, Brass & Co are consistently excellent, dedicated performers and always get the crowd dancing. Over the years they've played for hundreds of thousands of people. Tony and Eddie were two of the three original founding members, Michael Coppinger being the other. Eddie is a renowned trumpet player, Tony a marvellous drummer. The band has remained true to the original founding members and the philosophy. We have Dick Quinn, Frankie Welch, Patrick Dutch. Kennedy, uh, Dutchie, Michael O'Mara, mm. Eddie Dre, uh, Terry Lacey, John Collins, yourself, Michael Coppinger and myself. Good self. Yeah, oh, it's lovely, isn't it? The band was modelled on the James Last style of orchestra. It got together in 1980, rehearsed for eight months before they started playing even their first gig. The band was fabulous. Uh, two trumpets, two trombones, two sax, piano, bass, drums, guitar. All top musicians. And uh, it was fabulous. You had the old style at the dances was three fast, three slow, a break, short break in between each one. And we noticed then that it wasn't, it wasn't working in that the floor wasn't full all night. So then we decided we had to listen to a few of the discos that were around and we, and we just said, well look, the disco plays all night after us for an hour and the floor is always full for the whole hour. And why is that? It's because it's continuous. And that's what, that's what we, we changed our form then and the programme today is almost uh, continuous non-stop. Monday night rehearsals over the past few decades have been the key to the success of Brass & Co. It's here where differences are ironed out, tunes perfected and friendships cemented. Young and slightly older members learn from each other. And experiences from days gone by are sometimes lovingly recalled as the band constantly reinvents itself. Yeah. Imagine Simple. that was one of the biggest venues in the, in, in the town. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Back then it was called the, the Blackwater Tavern. I remember you went to get into the place. Yeah. You came along late. Right, uh, yeah, yeah. You were around the back there, the car park, yeah. and you just chocolate block. It was, uh, yeah. If you had a car. <laughs> the passion for the music and the enjoyment in entertaining remains central to the philosophy of Brass & Co. Most of our nights are fantastic nights, you know. I mean, we don't, we're not just playing at weddings. We actually become part of families, you know what I mean? We are, we're actually invited into their family to help them celebrate and we love it. And the biggest thing for me is I love going out every weekend and feeling that we're bringing happiness to people for a couple of hours. That's it. It's just pleasure. Where is the best county to play in? The best county to play in, I have to say water. Oh yeah, apart from water, <laughs> where would be the best? Apart from water, I'd say Limerick. Why? Because uh, we, seem to, we seem to have got an awful lot of work in Limerick over the years, you know? and they seem to like us up there. Just to go back to, to the 70s, when, when bands, when the show bands were in it, most of the brass players in show band became redundant because uh, the bands just became just groups with, with rhythm sections and singers. And when Michael Carpenter started his band, he gave the brass players a new outlet, which we, they, were, they had no work at all. 
they were just I'd had to kind of diversify, go into other the other instruments or whatever. I think that's been one of the secrets of the band. Apart from the musicianship in the band, the program has changed down through the years to still do modern dance music. Where back 30 years ago we were also doing modern dance music, but now it's evolved into what it is now, and, and the younger members would have a big influence on that as well. You know, ten people over 30 years, which is a fantastic achievement. You know, and and not only that, the band has improved so much; it has become so modern. It's it's just a shadow of the band that started. But, but, no version on Eddie, of course. No, no, it's worse than anybody. But we, we, but we, we, we many we times were, over the years. <laughs> we were sort of like into James the Last. Yeah, I kind of a copy yeah, off of James yeah. Last. Now it's the Black Eyed Peas we're doing, you know. Would you ever have little uh, to see who's better on the stage? Or should we know who's better? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to ask anyone. <laughs> it's very opinionated. Everybody knows they're, they're the best. <laughs> Was Eddie any good? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's over 25 years since Eddie Sullivan played with the members of Brass & Co. Especially for this programme, he did just that during rehearsals one night. So what advice would Eddie have for young, aspiring musicians? It's a gift. Music, like every, like a, an athlete, hurler, footballer, it's a gift. They're going to stay at it. Just stay at it and become good at what you do. Practice, practice, practice. And with the excellence of the younger members now on board, Brass and Co will play for many years to come. This was the, the Rose Rice of bands. So I, was there, I was never in a band as good as it. And they were expected to be in a band as good as it again because it's, it's, it just clicks every box for me. And I, I would just give this band the accolade, accolade of being the best in the country. Brass & Co. in the swing for 30 years now.